Hi there, Darren here from Darren T Fitness. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, I'm going to go over some more stress eating tips, kind of my story, what I struggle with, because um, I'm a big time stress eater myself. Um, seems like, you know, ever since I got out of the Air Force, it's because uh, being in different jobs and stuff, you know, being different stressful jobs and having access, more access to food and everything than I did when I was in, at least in basic training, when you're in there, you, you know, don't really have access to the vending machines and stuff I need about three minutes to eat so you just go in and get just a little bit of food and then you go out at each meal otherwise you know you get get in trouble with the good old TI and you didn't want didn't want to get in trouble with them so um, but basically it you know it's 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 hard when you are a stress eater um, but since I've been out, I've been in a lot of jobs that weren't as active. When I was in the military, it seems like you, know, you were marching somewhere, walking somewhere, or, or whatever. You know, at least you know until I got to my second duty assignment, where I actually had a vehicle that I could that I could drive and get off base and everything. Um, sorry, I'm a little out of it tonight, but uh, we'll get through here. Um, but it's kind of hard, you know, when you're in the civilian world, you know, you've got your coworkers that bring in food and they don't really think about bringing in something healthy usually. You know, I yet to see a vegetable tray. Of course, lately I've been seeing some fruit fruit come in, which is good, uh, good for you. With It doesn't have any dips or anything like that on it or anything or any chocolate. Which, chocolate's actually good for you, dark chocolate. It's the real dark stuff. Um, but, you know, they most of the time whenever somebody brings something in, it's cookies, cakes, you know, whatever they have food days for somebody, and they everybody and their brother brings in somebody something to, you know, something to eat. And so there's a whole bunch of food, and then sometimes they'll kind of put the guilt trip on, even if they know you're on a, a diet or you're trying to watch your, watch your food intake or what you're eating and stuff like that. They'll still kind of try to put the guilt trip on you. Oh, one one won't hurt you. Come on, don't be a party pooper. You know, you get you get that stuff uh, from other people sometimes. Um, that makes it kind of hard to to stay on track. Um, it seems like during the last about the year, last year and a half or so, I've been really concentrating more on it, concentrating harder on trying to not let the stress get to me and everything. Um, like I said in some of my previous posts, um, some of the things, uh, some of the tips that I've used, um, like just finally getting fed up with it. Uh, being overweight and being, you know, getting stressed about every little thing and, and you know, getting stressed about the job or whatever. Um, I try not to do that, you know, to make the, make the mind shift set up, make the, yeah, mind shifts, mindset shift on that. Um, you know, try to concentrate on being more positive and look for the solution. Don't look for, don't dwell on anything negative or any negative thoughts come in. You, you know, you want to get rid of those. Um, and then, uh, like I said, be more positive, uh, change negative thoughts. Uh, and I started reading more personal development books on things like building self-confidence and thinking big. Um, you know, kind of think, try to visualize more positive things, visualize, you know, visualize making a change or visualize what you really want, what makes you happy and, and things like that. Um, and of course, stop hanging around or listening to the negative people or topics. Um, I don't even watch the news um, anymore. I don't even watch TV much anymore, to uh, be honest with you. Um, it's like on the news, it's all negative and it's just it's stuff that just makes you upset or makes you down or, you know, it, there's never anything good on, on the news, it seems like. They always want to look for the negative and the bad in things. And, you know, some of the TV shows, they always, it might start out to be a decent TV show and then it'll, they turn around into something bad. So, you know, <laughs> and... Yeah, just so I just I just don't watch it. You know, don't I listen to music or I listen to satellite radio, um, and I don't really listen to many commercials. I'm always changing the station because I don't want you know some of the commercials will get you up too. But um, and definitely find some positive people um, to hang out with. That's kind of what I've done too. In the recently is um, found a lot of positive people to hang out with um, online, and even met some of them and done you know a go rec event with with a few. Um, a few new people, uh, some bunch of new people, and then some you know people that I can know on from online or I've met you know a couple different times in the past here recently, which has been really good. Um, that's definitely good. You know, 
hang around people that, that build you up and support you rather than people that are going to tear you down and drag you down. There's a lot of people, they don't want to see you succeed. Uh, they would rather, you know, you stay down at their level rather than you, you know, make make a choice to make a make a better life for yourself, you know, because they usually don't have the, they don't have that will, that drive, the determination to do it yet. Um, and just watch your portion sizes, uh, start, starting more whole foods, and I haven't, I haven't really drank any alcohol in like over a year and a half, so <laughs> beer does sound good every now and then, though. Um, but hearing a pizza sounds awful good right now. <laughs> but can't do it. Um, and of course, exercising, getting some exercise in, even if it's 10, 15, 20 minutes. I mean, if you just get up and move, um, move around a little bit, you know, walk, do some jumping jacks, do some push ups, stretches, whatever. Um, it all helps kind of. You know, get you going, get you, get just a little bit of energy and stuff. Helps you wake up too if you're falling asleep at work. <laughs> so, um, and then just staying accountable to my workouts and stuff. Um, checking with some different people, some different groups online um, to help me, you know, st stay on track and everything. But also some good camaraderie with some of the guys and gals in the in the groups. And that goes on with the positive people. You know, you get the supportive people. So. Um, and like join a club or organization to hang out with other like-minded people. Um, like I'm an Air Force veteran, so I joined Team RWB, um, the Veterans Outreach Program. The civilians can join too. Um, it just help you know help you know just kind of a group of veterans can get together. It's not like the American Legion or the VFW um, to get together, go on runs, or go, you know have some family outings like a bowling outing or something, or you know get together for those social gatherings and stuff like that, or runs. Uh, a lot of them do CrossFit. I don't want to. One of the captains have co-captains have a CrossFit gym. Um, a lot of people go over there and do that. They always have like a workout once a week, and they do Mai Tai and, and some yoga nights and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, that's kind of my tips. What I've done in the last year and a half that really helped me um, a bunch, um, and a lot of people have taken notice in that. So, um, if you have any questions, um, need any help, um, let me know. Um, so go ahead and message me or whatever. If you have any tips, anything I left out or missed or anything or Anything like that, just go ahead and let me know. I'd appreciate it. And you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.